Okay, so first of all, I'm going to search for Flourish. And then we're going to go to flourish.studio. Then I'm going to sign in. Then I'll click on new visualization. And there's lots of different visualizations that we can choose from. I'm going to scroll down until I get to the parliament chart. And then I'll click on the default one. Now we can go to the data tab and I'll delete all of this information here. And then type in the information that I want. So we'll have Democrats and that's going to be 213. Then we'll have the vacant seats and that's going to be four and then we can have republicans and that's going to be 218. then i'll change these seats to just be in column b and now we can go back to the preview tab now we can change the total number of seats to be 435 and we can change the size of the arc, which is in degrees. So I can make this bigger or I can make this smaller. I want for mine to be a semicircle, so I'm going to make it 180 degrees. Then we can change the amount of inner space so I can make this much smaller or I can make it bigger. And we can change the number of rows. So at the moment there are 10 rows and so I can increase this and we end up with more lines of dots or I could decrease it. Then I can change the colors. So I'll leave the Democrats as it is, but I'll change the vacant seats to be gray and then also change the Republicans to be red. Then I can give this a legend and I can put the legend in the middle and I can remove the table. And we have lots of different formatting options with this chart. I'll make the chart a little bit bigger. Then I'll give this a name. So I'll just call it Parliament Chart. And then we'll go to export and publish and I will download this chart as an image. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to make a parliament chart using Flourish and that is everything.